Hello, it's Georgia here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is one of the Bible journaling page projects for my November 2020 virtual faith art retreat being run through my Facebook group, God's Refrigerator. Um, our retreat is the end of November and we are doing a Christmas slash Advent based retreat. Waiting for your light is what we are calling it. And I'm going to be doing a few, I think, at this point, more than one Bible page, which is unusual. We only do the one, but this is our big last retreat and it's it's our Christmas party retreat. Let's call it that. So I'm going to put in a lot of bonus projects and things if I get the time to. But I thought I would start off the Bible journaling part by doing a very Christmas page. Now what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to sort of recreate something. Um, my This is my proper journaling Bible and over here is a very, very, very full on page. Um, a lot of TMI involved but basically this was done two years ago. My first real Christmas. I had just come home from midnight mass on, well, I was going to say Christmas Eve, but at that point it was Christmas Day and couldn't sleep with all the stuff going on in my head. So I sat down to do a page and, you know, before I know it, it's like half past two in the morning, <laughs> full on, lots of stuff going on. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of recreate this, but I'm going to treat it the way I do when I see um, projects and things on Pinterest and on the internet that I get inspired by, where I have a look and I go, oh, I really like that. And then I put it away and I recreate what's actually in my head, which ends up being completely different. So this is kind of what what I'm going to recreate, but it will end up quite diff you know, different. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, so it's basically an inked background. Some of the text has been highlighted. There's some napkin collage going on. There are die cuts, there are sparkly stars, there is raffia, there's washi tape and stickers and all sorts of stuff going on. So I have pulled out the demonstration Bible. So we are in Luke 2, which is where you will find your classic Christmas story. And what I'm going to do is, I always seem to lose it when I need it. I'm going to use our favorite wonderful Sizzix masking tape and I'm actually going to mask off a big, big square, a big block of text. I'm, I am blocking off Luke 2, 8 to 14. So in that region, there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flocks by night, all the way through to glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. So the whole angels, shepherds, this day is born Christ the King, is our well my verse that i'm blocking off of course you don't have to do this you can use your own um yeah sorry i'm very distracted today i'm really sorry you can use your own verse your you know choose choose, choose whatever you like to use and you, if if you're in luke 2 like i am you don't have to block off the same verse you could block off something else um, you might block off nothing and just have the whole page kind of translucent. It's up to you, as always. Now, I'm going to put a sheet of cardstock underneath my page to protect the edges when I go gessoing, but also to give myself a bit of a solid, um, a solid surface, because back here... See, I never think when I do dimensional stuff back here in in 2 Corinthians, I have this page that we did a while ago with all the dimensional dots and great big... Oh, actually, I can take this out. That will help a lot. But I'm feeling all the bumps. So having something kind of 
solid as my my work surface will help and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of napkin collage and I think I am going to um, do a bit here on this particular page so what I will do is actually I want a nice big piece so if I grab my water brush and you don't need to have a water brush you can just use a paintbrush with some you know dip it into some water and I am going to oh, my music's upside down for starters I'm glad I noticed that I am going to mark off how I the shape that I would like and by doing it with a water brush it means that I can now tear it quite easily so I get that lovely torn effect but I have control over it which is important for me anybody who knows me I'm a bit of a control freak okay so Right, I actually want this to come further down. And then this is the edge of my page. Wonderful. So there we go. Now the reason I'm doing the napkin first is because I'm going to ink the page and I want some of that ink to actually go over the napkin so that it's not quite, quite as um, dark. All right, so I just grabbed my clear gesso and with a nice big brush, I just brush some gesso over the page, lay my napkin down. Now it's actually going over the edge of the page, but that's quite fine because once it's dry, I can then cut it to size. And then I paint some more gesso over the top using the brush to press the napkin nice and hard all in the one direction so that it sort of um, smooths out the bubbles. And then I have a nice smooth surface. Once the gesso is dry, I've actually trimmed the bottom of the page there so it's nice and neat and straight. So I have a page with a bit of music. Now it's a little bit dark for my liking, especially since I know I'm going to use some kind of light coloured galaxy effect inks if that makes sense when I ink up this page so this is just a little bit too dark so all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing some white gesso and I am just randomly putting some splotches on it and just pop that under and just kind of scrub rubbing it here there and everywhere I'm not even covering all of the music so some of it I am leaving dark especially around the outside but for the rest, oh, I'm losing, my paintbrush is losing hairs. So just very roughly cover bits and pieces, just splotchily, just to tone it down a little bit. Once the white gesso has dried, I am ready to start inking away. Now, if you happen to catch my Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago when we did some ink backgrounds to create cards and tags, you'll be familiar with this color combination that I'm about to use because I believe it's what I used on a Bible page that I ripped out of my art, art supply Bible to make a card with. So I'm using faded jeans, worn lipstick and wilted violet and oops and fossilized amber. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bit of a galaxy effect so we're sort of going night sky, galaxy, um, this will be sort of goldy, bright, angel sing kind of look, <laughs> if that made any sense whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, oops, I'm going to start off with just the pink and yellow colours. 
and just being very careful because these pages are quite thin I've actually put my silicon mat under the page so that when I run off the edge of the page I've got something to land on without making an awful mess on my desk so I'm just randomly putting some little streaks and blotches here and there now distress inks do love 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 this paper but because it is once again I know I say this every time it's a regular Bible so the pages are very thin and it's really easy to rip them and scrunch them and have all sorts of mischief going on oh my tape is kind of uplifting there so i've just got the got the kind of you know nebula kind of look going on there then i will grab some wilted violet and I'm not sure how much I'm going to like this. Oh, no, it's good. It's all good. I wasn't sure how dark it was going to come out. Now, it can be a little bit tricky getting it on the edges of the page when your pages are really thin like this. But you do what you can. And remember, this is a background. This is the page where we are going all out. <laughs> um, so feel free to watch this video and go, I'm not doing it yet. And then stay up on Christmas Eve till like after midnight. And then take out your journaling Bible. <laughs> and when you're in, you know, like full on middle of the night, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day mode. <laughs> um, you know, then you can do your page then. And I'll tell you right now, you will get a completely different effect um, doing your page actually for Christmas as opposed to doing it now for fun. Like, you know, doing, doing it for fun which is, and, you know, or doing it as a, as a tutorial, which is pretty much what I'm doing now, is not really an emotional process. So I'm in teaching mode here, if I can dare call myself teacher. I know I'm not, but it's the best I can come up with. Or guidance mode, perhaps, or demonstration mode. There we go. So I'm, I'm in demonstration mode now. So I'm kind of thinking more about the process than anything else. So the page that I'm going to create today is not going to have anywhere near as much meaning as the original page that I am going off because that was actually you know done very with all the emotions going <laughs> and um yeah okay I'll stop now if you know anyone want more information come question me in um our group God's Refrigerator land of the TMI for now enough said where your mind is where your heart is at the time that you're actually creating your pages will make a really really big difference to how your page actually looks and i think we've had this conversation a few times in the past if you know when when i do my pages for the wrong reasons and they end up looking quite bleak. okay so now that i've done those darker colors the blue and the purple i'm actually going to come back in with the yellow and pink again just to brighten them up because they do tend to get a little bit lost once you add the darker colors around it sorry if my hands keep getting in the way but i'm trying my best to keep the page flat i quite like the music i'm happy with the music i wasn't sure at first because it looked kind of dark and i was a little bit worried but now I quite like it. And again, a lot of this is going to end up being quite background because it's, a lot of stuff's going to be added to this page, I think. Okay, so now that it's done, quickly put the inks away. And I will get my water spray. Give it a little test on my hand to make sure it's coming out the way I want it. 
and I'm just going to give a quick spray over the page. And that is just to activate some splotches here and there to look like faraway stars. And I will then just let it dry. As you can see, now it's dry. Some of this spray ended up quite big and blotchy. So I've got these really big splotchy bits there. But again, as usual, <laughs> I am not too concerned because, yes, this is going to be so background. So it's okay. Now, one more thing I want to do before we move on is I want to do a bit of paint spattering. Now, I'm going to do that off camera because I need to take it outside because I just I can't paint spatter on this desk today. There's just too much stuff. So I'm going to do some paint spattering. I'm actually going to do it in gold today rather than my usual white. So I will show you this in a few minutes after I have gone outside and spattered. So I hope you can see it gold spattering all over the page i kind of went all out because well once again <laughs> it's our christmas page right so i'm now going to pull off the sizzix tape which i have been actually i'm sticking it on the wall next to me so i actually have been reusing this so it's it's such great tape because it does not stick really firmly to your page so it doesn't rip off the words when you peel them off big issue with us Bible journaling girls so thank you so much once again Sizzix but I have also found actually that um, if you stick it to something else for a while you can reuse it which is good because it's not cheap and you know I'm kind of wasting it using it like this all the time okay so I have uncovered my verse and what I'm going to do is in my little case of special favorite products I am going to grab my what brand is this? I don't even know what brand it is. It's a, I think it's an, oh, I'm pretty sure it's American Crafts. It is actually called a Bible journaling highlighter. And it actually goes on, this is a gold one, and I'm not sure if they still make these anymore. They, they came in a few different colors. It actually goes on almost like a, a very creamy crayon. And I'm actually covering coloring the whole thing so when you first color with it and you can actually blend it in <laughs> well you could use something other than your finger but you know me I do everything with my fingers you can blend it in with your finger so it's quite wet and soft but once you give it time to dry it actually sets like a highlighter so it's actually a really, really great and favorite product of mine for doing stuff like this. So I'm actually making it darker gold around the outside. And I'm sort of, um, I'll see, sort of looking really gold over the Distress ink. I'm sort of doing that whole um, glowy outward sort of thing with it. So see, this is the part now where I completely go off script from the original that I looked at. I don't think I did anything like that on the other, on the original page. Okay, so now we get to have some fun. Actually, you know what? While I have this out, and I will just put this underneath again. Oh, oh look. <laughs> Goodness me. Um, I did get some bleed through, as you can see. But once again, this is the demonstration Bible, so I'm really not, not too worried. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to do a little bit of bordering around the edges of the page with the gold. Again, going all out on the Christmas page. Wonderful. Okay, so now we get to have some fun with the decorating. So I am going to grab some die cuts and bits and pieces. I have pulled out a few things just to get started. <laughs> There's going to be more. <laughs> now what I've done is I've pulled out a couple of bits of ephemera. Now um, hopefully you don't go, oh I really love that and I would love one because most of these are really old collections that probably don't exist anymore. But I have pulled out this Christmas, Christmas sign, or what do you call it? It's not really a sign word. It's from, I'm trying to, I'm desperately trying to get this to 
cooperate but the, the bits won't fall down so I can't show you the packet well this is from the Luke 2 collection from Photoplay but again it's a few years old so I don't know if it's actually still available it's a really cute little ephemera pack because it has all the separate pieces to make your own nativity scene basically um, now it's got the sticker on the on the back but as you can see there's all the all the separate figures and the palm trees and I think there was a stable at some point that I might have used but anyway I'm just using the title here and again a very old collection this is Kayser Craft Holy Night and from that I have got the I, I guess it's a bingo card you would call this um, with peace and 25 is circles so I'm going to use that and now this this you have a lot more chance of getting because this is this year's release Echo Park Silent Night and from the ephemera pack I've pulled out the joy to the world so they're a start for me and I have I believe this is last year's Echo Park away in a manger this is the sticker sheet and I want it for the angel now what I'm going to do before I actually start with that is I'm once again going to grab that gold highlighter crayon that I used because I just want to highlight around the outside of these little pieces because they're a little bit stark and boring but the way they are now on this page so I thought if I just did a bit of gold highlighting around the outside it would just make it look just a little bit prettier and it would blend it into the page a bit more and also I'm rubbing it along that you know the thin edge of the paper so that you don't see that white line around the design because it's got gold on it so that's that one and I want to put it around this as well because this looks terribly stark that white background against my page I could color the whole thing gold but I don't want to do that put a bit of extra gold on the star yeah I've, I haven't used these highlighters in a while I've got a gold one and a silver one and you know when you have things that you don't use in a while you kind of forget about them and then when you pull them out and remember and you go oh and suddenly you're using them on every single project <laughs> expect to see a lot of this <laughs> okay see I like that a lot better and I will even though it be very subtle I'm going to go around this Piece bingo card as well it is very subtle but it just it softens it a little bit and blends it into the page so it's really pretty so the next thing I want to do or rather the very first thing I want to do before I decide where anything else is going oh I've got this gold everywhere now <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Um, is I need to place the angel because the angel is so big that if I leave it till later on I won't have anywhere to put it because all the space will be taken up by the bits of ephemera so this is the angel that I want to use I see she is so big I'm going to give the angel a bit of gold yeah, now this page is getting very very goldified <laughs> So there we go I kind of like that better and so I am actually I'm going to put her here because I don't want her facing away from the action <laughs> so I think here would be a really great good place for her all right so now I can start playing with my ephemera now what I wanted to do is like my other page I had used another bingo card and I'd stuck it to the side and used it as a tip-in a tiny one <laughs> that I opened up and had secret journaling behind so I'm kind of thinking I might like to do the same here so I am going to use this washi tape which is gold with white stars And all I'm going to do is put a strip 
along the outside of my little card here. So this is the back side of it. And I'm now going to align the card up to the edge of the page. It's, yes, it's going over a bit of the angel, but that's okay. And if I line them up to the edge of the page, and then fold the washi tape over so that it goes, it would have been easier to do it this way, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Lining it up to the edge of the page and folding the washi tape over to the back page or the back side of the page. That then creates a little hinge and you can open your, your card up, a bit of secret journaling or something special, personal, and close it up again. Now I know you now have a bit of tape on the back of the page, but you can use that as part of your design when you're doing the, the next page or cover it with something easy to do. Um, and now what I wanted to do is I want to attach my title to the edge of the card. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on the edge there and pop it down like this. Whoops. So I can still see the 25 and I have my title like this. And then I'm going to use this little, I think up the top, Joy to the World sign is going to go up the top. Now something that I did on my last page, which I really want to do again because I loved it, and that was that glittery star. The stars that I'm using are part of a crate paper collection. I think it was last year's, I can't remember. And I'm sorry, I can't remember what it was called. But it came with these great glittered stars in a packet. There's big ones and small ones and gold string. So I have just strung some string through the whole top of the star. And I'd like it to hang down kind of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the old washi tape thing again. And just put a strip of washi tape all the way across the top of my page over that string. Try not to stick the pages together. Push it down. Turn my page. And once again, because it's the demonstration Bible, I'm not, oops, I think I've just stuck two pages together. Yes, I have. Yeah, once again, because it's the demonstration Bible, I'm not concerned about the back page and the fact that I have all this washi and bleed through. But you know, if this was my journaling Bible, I would not worry so much because the bleed through is not bad and most of it would probably end up being covered by whatever I would do here. And the washi tape at the top certainly would not bother me because I would just work that into the design of the next page. So there we go. So we have the star dangling down. Right, now we need something else. Okay, so I decided I needed a sort of nativity scene. And I think that, and once again, we're going to be getting the uh, gold highlighter out. I should just leave it on my desk, I think. <laughs> Um, I had a look at a few different ones, but I'm sort of going through my stickers and I had a look at a few different stickers that I thought might work. Oh, actually, oh, see, now I'm tossing up between this one and that one. Let's have a look. It would not be the first time that I pull a sticker off and then stick it back on. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? I like this. I was initially going to use this one here, but I like this one. So I'm going to do the gold thing, especially since these particular stickers, and that is the Away in a Manger Echo Park collection. That's last year's, I think. Um, they have the, the white border around their stickers, which is fine, but just looks a little bit too white on my page. So I'm just doing a little bit of the gold thing again. 
just to make it blend into my page a little bit more. And being these sort of shiny cardstock stickers, the gold is blending beautifully. Okay, and I'm just going to stick that down in here. Right. Now I'm kind of tossing up. No. See, one of my favourite, favourite images from this collection last year is this little shepherd boy. And I really, really absolutely love it. But I think my page is just a little bit too busy to have him on there. So we might have to say no. Okay. Now, because she's never quite finished, <laughs> what I'm going to do is something that happened when I did that original page two years ago as I was you know sticking bits and this and this and this I thought oh no no we need some we need some some hay in the manger <laughs> and so I took out the raffia and kind of went went to town with that so I think and and the main reason I'm doing this is because I've got my stickers sitting here but it kind of looks like they're floating in the air and I know it's a bible page and it's not an actual real you know scene or diorama or something like that but it kind of kind of bothers me just a little bit so what I'm going to do is get a bit of raffia and I can hear my dear friend Lydia laughing her head off because we have a bit of a joke about raffia and my use of it <laughs> so I'm actually just going to see if it's the last thing I do Lydia I'm gonna have you putting raffia on all your projects <laughs> You'll be going, this is a Georgia page. It's got raffia all over it. Okay, so I'm putting my cardboard, my cardstock sheet, my protection between the pages because I think this is going to get a little bit messy. Now, I know my page is all warped at the moment, but the weight of the Bible being closed on it always fixes that and smooths it out over time. So don't worry if your page starts to look all wonky with all the wet stuff that you apply and all the glue and everything. Over time, the um, the heaviness of the Bible will actually just flatten it out for you. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a nice big strip of wet glue. I might open this up actually. All along the bottom. And I'm making it, oh, I don't know, about a quarter to a half inch. But of course it depends on how thick you want yours to be assuming you're doing anything like this you could be using ribbon ribbon would be really nice as well if you had a pretty ribbon that you wanted to use or knitting wool string of some sort anything or um you could actually cut out a border from scrapbooking paper or just pattern paper you could use washi tape or you could do nothing at all totally up to you as always so I now need to let this dry and it does take a little while because even though it's fabulous glue it doesn't really stick immediately with the raffia so I'm just going to go and do some other things and come back to this later okay my finished page I've kept this one a little bit more simple than the original since this is just the demonstration bible as opposed to my real heart art bible but it's a good way to show you how you can use different different die cuts and embellishments to decorate a page and make it really special <laughs> it's still a little bit creased here where the sticker and the crayon and everything has kind of crinkled up the page but it is a lot better than it was yesterday so with the weight of the bible being closed on it over time it will straighten out or flatten out rather Okay, so that's the end of our Luke 2 journaling Bible page. Now, if you are with us in real time during this retreat, please, please, please post your finished pages in the retreat event, which is run through my Facebook group, God's Refrigerator. If you're not part of the retreat, hey, if you're not in the group, come on over and join us. <laughs> um, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. All my social links are down below. Um, do that, you know, thumbs up, comment, say hello, just to let me know that you're here. And if you do create a, a, um, a Christmas 
Bible journaling page. I would love to see it. So please feel free to post your pictures on any of my social places. <laughs> Thank you very much again for joining me and have a wonderful day. Bye.